Yoshi, do not pee like cops, Lake. Bad boy. Noah's campfire back with production. and hungry I spend every Sunday just living good might do a little fishing a little hunting on the weekend with a bow I'll be sneaking back in the woods a little bit crazy every now and then maybe like to kick off my boots and get lazy but I'm living good yeah Just a redneck Robin Hood Hey, I'm living good Back in the woods Well, everybody, I got the digital camera out because the GoPro uh, SD card memory is full uh, uh, data I got a lot of videos on there uh. There where the fire was. I got the logs off. I'm gonna sure it died. I was gonna move on today. Go get some supplies. I got two tours of pop, an energy drink, and a, a one algae full of water and a, a kettle chuck bag full of water. But I don't got no food. Yoshi got food. I figured, fuck it. The wind don't die down. I can't put the tent down because the wind will blow my shit right in the river where the way the wind's blowing. And it'll make it hard for me to pack up. It's part of life out here. Uh, just being a second day going hungry. Uh, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Yesterday I was depressed and freaking freezing my ass off. I decided to sit by the fire and didn't go and get food. It'd be warm. I choose warm over food yesterday. I wanted to go today and get some uh, food and supplies. But this wind ain't giving me no freaking break. Uh, let's see over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I broke my boom mic to this uh, camera. Did it, it still work? It still uh, allow me to get audio from it. But the, where the a plastic piece that mounts onto my camera is if wobbling around. If I get some super glue soon, I could be able to see if I could use super glue to fix it. If not, it's ordered me a new boom mic. It came with the camera. I didn't want to have to fucking replace it. I just recently got this shit. I didn't want to have to replace the mic. I think Yoshi broke it by accident. He got a side in the tent, started hopping back and forth. I think he stepped on the boom mic and broke the piece. I'm not really worried about it. It is what it is. All right, check the trail real quick. Then shut this off. This battery's fully charged. It's saying it's getting ready to die because it's cold. The battery is all out. It's going to be 40 degrees. We're at 46 today. Down there. <laughs> All right, get back in here. Ooh, my hands are cold. It's still a little nippy with the wind blowing. See how strong the wind's blowing? It was blowing heavy earlier, the whole tent was getting ready to collapse. I didn't put the guidelines on the other day when I set up the tent. I've been here about three days. Yesterday I started running out of food supply. I still got pop. I still got two cans of beer I forgot about. And, uh, and I still got a little bit of water. Enough to do me and Yoshi till tomorrow. I guess I just, since when they're gonna die down, I, I tramp. What I do, I connect my uh, GoPro to my uh, phone and transfer all the videos over there, upload it to my Google Drive. Thank God for Wi-Fi on this camera I'm using here and my GoPro. Uh. Ooh, it's 
cold. I'm hungry too. It comes down to it, if I can't get nothing by tomorrow, I probably just munch on Yoshi's dog food and ate the first one I did that. It sounds nasty, but <laughs> shit, if you're hungry, that keeps you from going hungry. <coughs> See, oh yeah, crazy the wind's blowing, look at it. Ugh. I, I think I don't need to get the guy lines down. It's not safe to break down camp today. Not, not unless the wind dies down later. I don't know what time these chicken opens up. I could get some food and tea from there and save the water for Yoshi. I got two two liters of pop. I can't believe it. I, I'm in a, a sticky a t a situation here. I cannot leave my camp set up because we got these cops and code enforcement want to tear your shit down or steal your shit. Code enforcement does that too. The cops come down here and knife your shit. On the way I leave my camp here, if I have somebody, I really trust watching my gear for me. There's a lot of people I trust. I trust Jason. I trust Donnie and Lindsay. Especially Donnie and Lindsay, but they're, they got a home in Ohio. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And Yoder's my buddy. If he was a big enough dog, like a pit bull or a German Shepherd, I would leave, camp, leave him in a tent and anybody stick their hand there. <laughs> I don't think he does bark and no action. That's it. He just bark and do do not back up his bark. <laughs> but I love him though. He's my boy. <laughs> only, he only bit somebody one time. Because he thought he was a threat to me. He uh, grabbed him by the ankle. I was kind of shocked. I never seen that behavior from Yoshi before. You see my gear. The tents get all messy. Uh, being here about three days is what happens. I, what I wanna, that's why I like packing up every day. Because you organize my generator. I still got electricity on it. My solar, my not solar speaker, but my Bluetooth speaker. I got a, I think this is fully charged still. Yep, it's fully charged still. I got a half a battery, a charged battery bank. This one is dead. Yeah. And stuff. That's from the other day, Paris Kitchen. That's garbage. I'm a little hungry. I haven't eaten in 24 hours, but. I don't feel like I haven't eaten in, in, within 24 hours. I felt like I ate yesterday, but I didn't. Maybe because I'm used to um, going without food sometimes. Because sometimes out here, I go two or three days without eating. Sometimes it ain't by my choice. Sometimes it's by my choice. If the weather's bad, it's storming and raining, heavy and shit, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not packing up my camp if it's raining. <sighs> I got this open, let the tent in here air out, get the moisture out of here. It's starting to warm up. I'm feeling good. <sighs> oh, I forgot to mention, I won a fire today. I could uh, collect river water down there with my water filter, filter it, and boil the water for, oh, bring the water to a warm boiler on a campfire for one minute to start, make sure it's sterilized. The water filter it does it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm paranoid about that river water. I really don't trust the river water that much, but I had drunk it a, a plenty of times. It had made me sick, but if I'm going to drink it, I'm going to boil the water first out of this river because we're in the city limit, and I can't build a fire because it's too windy. You got to have fire safety first. That wind will blow hot coals everywhere or cast the woods on fire. You got to be safe with the fire. It's, now it's dying down. Hopefully it died down. Uh, some guy walked on the trail, he said, supposed to do this all day, be windy. If that's the case, I'd go hungry till tomorrow. If, if not, I'd just I'd take a handful of Yoshi's dog food to eat it. <laughs> it sounds gross, but I ate it before, his food before. You do what you gotta do to survive out here. I actually ate his food before. That food right there, Victor, it tastes like meat and vegetables. And blue buffalo tastes like meat, uh, fruits. Was, you could tell it's different type of fruits in it, berries, and um, or you could taste the vegetables. It almost tastes that brand and blue wilderness and a blue buffalo. They taste like uh, table food. Uh, if I, I could reason why I know, cause I tasted it all. Cause if if he if if I don't like it, I'm not gonna feed it to my dog. Cause I like buying dog food I I would like just in case of emergency. If I have to go two or three days without food, I have something to put in my belly. I really don't like going to soup kitchens that much, but I will. I went to Paris Kitchen the other day. I was in that er na in that neighborhood at the time. I said, "Fuck it, I might as well get something to eat." 
Uh, uh, I wish there was a camera built in on on the display screen. I could flip the screen around, the camera around the face of me. I could do this and face it like this. My yoder. I got a wool blanket this month. It keeps you warm, but uh, this way I'm going to get bitched at by prof professional survivalists. See, I just put the ground tarp down. I didn't put a buffer like a pad. I'm going to order a sleeping pad in, in a, um, a sleeping bag next month. I got a sleeping bag here. That's four years old. Uh, the feeling inside is no longer keep me warm. It must go zero to 40 degrees. But it's no longer um, capable of doing that. Because I'm freezing my ass off of that now. It used to keep me warm. It's so old, it's time to replace it. And I got me a wool blanket. It keeps me warm, but when the a cold from the ground, I need a buffer. That's what my mistake was. I need. I should have ordered a sleeping bag this month. I learned my lesson. I'm going to get a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad this month. That should help buffer me off the ground. I can stay more warmer. That's why I, uh, at nighttime, I'm freezing my ass off. Plus, I share my blanket with Yoshi. Thank God he's a small dog. <laughs> I love him. Because <laughs> he, he was a big dog. I had to take one of these, a, a sacrifice one of these blankets for him to uh, sleep under. Because I, could, I couldn't let my animal freeze out here. Like yesterday I built a fire. The day before I built a fire. I think the day before I built a fire. It's all for Yoshi to keep him from freezing. I really don't care about myself. Uh, I can stay warm uh, without a fire. All, all the time I uh, can't stay warm if I got hypothermia. I only had that one time out here a long time ago. <clears throat> Alright. The generator got one, two, three, four more bars. I've been using this about a week out here without charging it. My GoPro. I think it's about time to replace my GoPro. Needs to be clean, cause the battery ain't charging up a full charge like uh, Nate Post is only charging at eight percent, and the GoPro's crashing. I had it about two or three years. It's been through all seasons. I, I think I pushed its limit. Been through all season, rain, snow, all year round outdoors most of the time. I probably order one soon in a few months. I think this is the last a few more months. It's not I still got this camera here. <laughs> my boy. The back door. My emergency door. I there's a beer can there. And my emergency door. Well, I got a emergency pee container there. When I'm warm in a blanket, I'm not getting out at night time. But if I'm up like now, I just unzip the tent, go outside and pee. I got a container I pee and just dump it right out there. It don't hurt because I, I change um, camps, uh, rotate camps. For sanitary reason, could I shit out with a pee? I let the pee dissipate over time and shit break down, and I come back to the spot after nature takes care of that sanitation. Cause you can't get sick out here. Being ill is your worst enemy out here. Mm. All right, I'm gonna cut it short. The battery's dying on here. I will charge my battery up in it. I got a spare one in there. Yeah, there's Yoda. <laughs> Whoa, that's what. There we go. Oh, I thought it zoomed in. That's zooming in. Yeah, the tent's a little disorganized. I got my laptop right in that bag right there. Here's my allergy. Uh, my, not my allergy, but my camel truck. I think I bleed at the half a gallon of water, if I'm not mistaken. And I got an allergy right there full of water. They ate the original lid that came to the allergy. That green water bottle I had, you see me on one of my videos? That came from there. I lost the lid to that one somehow when I was out here on this river a year ago. And I, I realized that uh, lid fits on that. I want to order a new lid uh, for that allergy. I just had had uh, make the time to do it. But I'm still going to keep that top. I like that top because when you're drinking out of allergy oh, with the wide mouth, sometimes you spill water on you. And that helps uh, keep it from spilling water on you. <laughs> it's a little hack, a uh, camping hack right there. That's a little camping hack. You go buy a cheap $5 water bottle with that for your wide mouth canteen or whatever size of canteen you have. Find one that fits your canteen and or water bottle and do it that way. I booked my canteens over there. It's empty. Yoshi drunk the last bit of water out of that canteen last night. We're working on that. Then we got this. 
I'm good. I got two two liters of water. Oh, fine. Not water. Two two liters of pop and a can of uh, Mountain Dew energy drink my buddy gave me. Uh, Nick. Thank you, Nick, for the Mountain Dew and the energy drink the other day. I finally, finally getting around to it, Nick. I just thrash you my stuff. All right, I got to get off here. It's 10 minutes long. I probably have to cut edit. You like my video, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification on bell to get updates on my videos.